I'm here with a different video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to fix up an iPhone even any iPhone that has a same charging port that um, with a lightning cable uh, if you have your iPhone that uses lightning port cable and is not charging up you can do this method and it might fix 90% of the time it's going to fix your problem if it's not charging so and I'm going to show you a really quick and safe method to do this one and the proper way of this doing it. For example, this one here, I have a very low charge on this one. I'm going to connect the cable. And I'm not getting any charge, anything, even if I press too hard. I notice that it's not going in to all the way in. And when I look down to the jack, I see it, it is, it looks pretty clean. So let me zoom in. It doesn't look too bad. It looks like a, I don't see it like a bit of naked eye. You don't see anything inside. You're like, okay, but it's still, it looks pretty good. You just stop blowing through that jack and it's still like not working. All right, the tools that you're gonna be needing is an alcohol 100%. I will leave the link in the description. You need this alcohol. You need uh, tweezers, really fine edge tweezers, curved or straight. And also a type of toothpick with a really sharp edge or you can sharpen it up if you want to. And you need a working towel. All right, number one, if you wanna turn it off, power off the phone, if it's off, just leave it off. What you want to do, you want to grab the alcohol and you want to spray it directly right in. You want to spray it directly right into the jack. So grab it. Don't worry about it. It's 100% alcohol. It doesn't. You won't do any damage. So you want to leave it there for soaking. You want to grab your the wood picker, whatever you want to call it, and you want to just poke it in there. Now, once you have it in there, you just want to blow to it so the alcohol will come out and now what you want to do grab a tweezers and just go inside and start moving the stuff around because what the alcohol it does it just crumbles all the dust particles everything it sticks together so instead of going everywhere it just keeps everything together so that's the point of putting the alcohol in there so go ahead in there and start from one corner push it towards the other side so just Crumble it to one side and now do it from this side and you're gonna see a pile of look at that. You see? I don't know if you can see this dirt right here. That's what alcohol it does, it just makes everything come out very easy. So keep cleaning. Keep putting it inside and pulling it out. Look at that. It keeps coming. <laughs> so now it keeps keep cleaning. Now actually I can see the bottom is looks kind of white. So now I know everything is clean nicely. What I want to do, what you want to do, you want to put a little bit more alcohol and you want to grab a old or new toothbrush. And you want to stick the back of it underneath and just want to just do a little bit of rubbing just like that side to side. Gently side to side. Don't do it too rough, just side to side gently. You want to rub it off. So make sure the alcohol is going to clean that their contacts. And you just want to blow it it's gently. There we go. Now that we have all this dirt out, and this is what happens when you put inside your back pocket or inside your pocket, um, jack down first. Always leave the jack upward. Don't put it inside your pocket with a jack down. That's why the, all the dirt goes in there, crumbles in there. And when you put this in through, it just pretty much crumbles everything right underneath. Now grab the connector, plug it in, and guess what? It's charging. I don't know what language is this, but let me change it to select language 
English and let's go ahead and connect it and there we have it it's charging right now so and look at the jack is going all the way in nicely so that's one way so use the alcohol stick it right in there make sure it's nice and clean and you know, rub it up with a toothbrush once it's cleaned up now what you want to do you want to clean up the tip of your uh, charger which if you see the pins are blacked or something like that just grab it what you want to do grab uh, i'll leave the link in the description for the alcohol and the tools that you need you want to grab a baking soda so you want to put alcohol right on top on both sides and you want to spray baking soda right on the top on both sides now what you want to do you just want to grab it and just rub it rubbing the baking soda on the pins and what does this does it just cleans all the oxidization all the uh, layers of the dirt that is on top it's just going to clean it up nicely just make sure you rub it nicely if you want to do two pass do a second time and wash it out with an alcohol and you're going to see the nice magic that it cleans up nicely you just want to use a toothbrush clean the corners where you can't reach uh, if you look at the pins are really nice and shiny and clean so the baking soda it's really good only put the baking soda here don't put it inside the jack otherwise you, you won't be able to get it out all right now you're gonna have a perfect contact and it's not gonna heat up too much and the voltage is gonna pass through uh, perfectly fine so again let's do a recap put an alcohol nicely let it soak in for about five seconds then and blow the alcohol out use a wooden one wooden toothpick or use a uh, what's called a tweezers gently bring it to one side from each side once it's in the middle just grab it gently pull it out don't force anything just go gently you go in and just pick it up come out go in and pick it up you don't want to just rub it inside and at the end you want to fill up with an alcohol and clean it up with a old toothbrush and the contact on the jack put an alcohol and then put a baking soda on top and rub it off all right i hope this video helped you guys out and if it did please click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe i'll really appreciate your support thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video